hello dear students in this lecture we are going to discuss limonoid and terpenoid phytochemical tests performed in ethnobotany practical classes so let us just revise uh, what are phytochemical tests which we have already discussed many times in many lectures before phytochemicals are plant secondary metabolites or uh, which play many roles including defense mechanism against pests and pathogens wounds responses to different environmental stresses they show antioxidant anti inflammatory antimicrobial and anti diabetic properties these phytochemicals can be extracted from different parts of the plant and knowledge of these phytochemicals is desirable because the information is used to uh, in the synthesis of modern drugs and medicines and there are many phytochemicals present in plants which includes alkaloids steroids tannins glycosides phenols flavonoids saponins etc and today we are going to discuss limonoid and terpenoids what are limonoids Limonoids are highly oxygenated modified triterpenoids they are phytochemicals of triterpenoid nature which are abundant in sweet or sour scented citrus fruit and other parts of the families like cucurbitaceae rutaceae and meliaceae uh, there are certain limonoids which are antifeedants Uh, such as azadirectin from the neem tree uh, antifeedants are actually uh, the meaning of antifeedant is that it is toxic to uh, the other organisms then citrus fruits contains the limonoids limonin nomulin and nomulinic acid several studies including in vivo and in vitro Uh, studies on animals have suggested that limonoids have anti-cancerous properties and they show uh, cytotoxic activities limonoids including limonin and nomulin were also found to be have antibacterial and antiviral properties now uh, the neem seeds and leaves both these parts contain the limonoid as adirectin but when we compare these two parts then high concentration is found in seeds compared to leaves what are terpenoids terpenoids are also known as isoprenoids and they are derived from 5 carbon compound isoprene and its derivatives are called terpenes diterpenes etc terpenoids contain additional functional groups uh, usually containing oxygen when compared with terpenes uh, they are the largest class of plant secondary metabolites representing about 60% of known natural product products terpenoids are reported to have roles in plant defense against biotic and abiotic stresses or they are treated as signal molecules to attract insect pollinators now plant terpenoids are used for the aromatic qualities and play a role in traditional herbal remedies terpenoids are responsible for scent of eucalyptus flavor of cinnamon clove and ginger uh, the yellow color of sunflower and red color of tomatoes examples of terpenoids are citral menthol camphor salvinorin a in plant salvia divinorum ginkgo light and by uh, loba light found in ginkgo by loba cannabinoids found in cannabis pro vitamin beta carotene is a terpene derivative called a terpenoid the steroids and sterols in animals are biologically produced from terpenoid precursors so this was the information about terpenoids and limonoids and i have taken this information from wikipedia so you can also refer other google sources for 
uh, more information on these phytochemicals now for performing this uh, phytochemical test what are the requirements we require fresh leaves of different plants we are we can also do it from dry uh, le uh, dry powdered leaves which we will be doing in this practical and the chemicals which are required are chloroform sulfuric acid vanillin solution uh, how do we prepare vanillin solution we dissolve 20 mg of vanillin in small volume of methanol and then raise the final volume to 100 ml with methanol so the glassware which are required are conical funnel beakers test tubes measuring cylinder pipettes and the miscellaneous things required are pestle and motor cotton filter paper funnel stand must and cloth so for extraction you crush the leaves in 20 um, in um, distilled water in a ratio of 1 is to 5 then you filter the paste and take the filtrate for phytochemical tests now for terpenoid test dissolve 2 ml of the extract in 2 ml of chloroform and evaporate to dryness with the help of a spirit lamp then add 2 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid and heat for about 2 minutes development of a grayish color indicates the presence of terpenoids uh, for the test of limonoid you take 2 ml of extract in a test tube add 1 ml of vanillin solution add 0.5 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid from sides of test tube shake it and appearance of blue green color indicates the presence of limonoid so these are two tests for terpenoid and limonoid now you can see some of the results performed for limonoid test like in the first picture you can see that the test is performed in lemon and the two samples taken are fresh sample and dry sample and you cannot see any blue green color here so it, these are uh, the aqueous extracts uh, of uh, the fresh sample it means fresh leaves and dry uh, leaves or the powdered dry leaves so you can uh, we find that there is no color no blue green color appeared in the aqueous extract when you see the second picture you see the first test tube is controlled so control is showing negative result and this negative result it means there is no blue green color then second plant is Barilaria uh, prinotis which is your Pila Masa you can you see appearance of a uh, blue green color here in this tube now the third uh, plant is Muraya Koengi which is your Kadi Pata you see Oh, very nice blue green color so this is also positive test and the last tube is azadi recta indica which is your neem so it is also showing a blue green test so you can see that the last three tubes they are showing positive test for limonoid while the first tube which is controlled it has no blue green color and uh, limonoid test we have um, after doing practical uh, this experiment in practical classes what we have observed that the uh, the extract prepared in methanol is giving nice results for limonoid while the aqueous extract is not giving the results for limonoid so like in the first picture both the test tubes uh, the fresh sample as well as the dry sample they are aqueous extracts of the uh, leaf while uh, the these uh, uh, tubes which are showing positive tests these are all um, extracts are dissolved in methanol so this you have to remember that for getting a nice positive is, test for uh, you can see the plant test, is more you dissolve the sample, sample in and methanol you see the then you get a positive test. test results of terpenoid test and limonoid test now I, in the test a terpenoid test or uh, this is your uh, first tube is aqueous extract of curry patta second is your methanol extract and uh, then third tube is your uh, leaves which are extracted uh, fresh leaves uh, extracted in distilled water so here you can see the appearance of a grayish uh, color on the 
upper side of the tube so you can see that uh, this is a giving a positive test in Moraya Koengi which is a Kadi Patta so the terpenoid test is positive in this now in limonoid test you can see that aqueous extract is giving uh, aqueous, this aqueous extract is of dry sample this is negative while the methanol ex extract is giving positive test and the fresh leaf extracted in distilled water is also giving negative test so limonoid test you can see that the nice results we obtain when we dissolve it uh, in with when we extract in methanol and gray color for terpenoid test you have to observe very carefully uh, inside you have to look inside the uh, test tube then you, then you find the gray color floating on the uh, upper side of the test tube in terpenoids this is these are the results of uh, terpenoid test and limonoid test from azadirecta indica which is your neem tree so you can see that limonoid test in fresh extract of dry leaves fresh extract means that uh, these are this is aqueous extract of fresh samples second tube is aqueous extract of dry samples this both giving negative result while the methanol extract is giving positive result mm -hmm. then terpenoid test you see that all the tests are negative here because you cannot see any grayish color appearance of grayish color in the test tube so in azadirecta indica we see that the methanolic extract is giving positive test of limonoid while terpenoid tests are negative now this is uh, these are the results of the previous batch uh, of terpenoid test and you can see that all these tests, all these test tubes, uh, there is no appearance of uh, any grayish color in the any of the test tubes. So we thought that uh, these are all negative. So these plants were Amelia patens, which is your firebush, Euphorbia mili, crown of thorns, Stratoscantia, Rohio, Vinca rosia, Sadabar, and spider lily. Um, the, the, all these are giving negative tests for terpenoids but for um, you have to observe very carefully you have to actually look inside the test tube to find the gray color floating uh, and then only you find the test as positive and these are uh, fresh and dry sample and these are aqueous extract of fresh and dry sample in lemon and for, this is terpenoid test so you can see that there is a light grayish color floating here so we can say that this is positive uh, terpenoid test in lemon while it is negative here in dry sample so this is how you can record your observations in a tabulated manner but please do not um, forget to write botanical names you have to specific uh, write botanical names as well as the common names and then you, you can uh, record your observations like this so thank you students and uh, i hope you have understood the practical thank you